Ito, rematch. Battle for Grand Finals and M6 slots. SRG versus Toda. Tignan natin kung makakabawi ang ano, SRG. Bakit pinapak ka na boss? Ganun talaga bossing. Tignan Tignan natin kung mawawala ang antok natin sa laro nila. Ay, busog kasi ako. Kain ko lang. Di ba pagkakain ka sarap matulog? Pangalan pa ก็ยังไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยก็ยังไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยก็ยังไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยก็ยังไม่ได้ทำอะไรเลยก็ยังไม่ได้ทำอ
Stolen's pair of Alpha, counter engage from Sakai, flicker from Yan Lord. Here comes the AOG to the back, Dime Sand Boy isolated. Yan Lord will be taken out, snipe from the Renner, Stormy goes down, Zai chips in, Chico guys in the fight, Yum's on top of him as the Scorus Pavic comes right through. Zai fights the assassination of the innocent, and now told out, they got the Giants boxed in. Sakai's wants to run away, turn it around, Oy. doesn't have the help bar, and Crab will try to stop him. Goodbye, Chico guys, but told out, wipe out boss. This is not looking good. This is not looking good at all as SRG. The angles are too linear and Todak is pulling attention away from each one of the members. SRG need a hook up to the Kala at this point. They need to become a hive mind. And we Stormy getting hooked. That's going to be flicker down for another two minutes. But it's going to be a little bit rough considering the fact that the turtle is currently available for the picking. One thing, one good thing for the sound of Todak at least is the fact that all three of them did use their flicker. So at least a flicker bloody hunt is not exactly something that Selangori Giants would be expecting. But at least a two oh, point. Oh, there's a sense of the big crowd control. SRG refusing to you for the stolen AOG from Zai. Here comes the blazing duet, BMI for Zaye, takes him out, good control, Sky Piercer execution, and the Prince finds a triple kill. Big out games, that's what we want to see from Sun SRG, man. God, this game is just pumping out the clips. Ganda nung setup nung dalawa. This game is just pumping out the clips. Ganda nung setup nung dalawa. The TikTok clips, let me tell you that the YouTube shorts, wherever you watch your short form media, I think that right now, as much as Lango Red Giants, yes, they tunnel vision in the previous Lengba fight. Sam that was a statement. Hey, Konti we're not messing around here. Group, we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for as long as it takes. Mm -hmm. You got no Purify. You got no Flicker. Once I set it up for Cram, then you pretty much know that your entire team will go into shambles once the AOG comes in. <sighs> Although I will say, in terms of the macro aspect, Parang it feels like Todak and Slango Red Giants, they're not looking to play around the map too much. They're training pretty bak -bak equally. Bak -bak and as much as I would like to believe that we caught up to the rest of the world, 16 minutes, we definitely ah, 16 have our, six fair, minutes our very signature play style. 11, we like to brawl. Score. We ain't like Cambodia where we brawl all the time. <laughs> but God, when we do, it's no holes barred. It's bare knuckles. It's a very foreign thing to me. I've mentioned this uh, um, teens of times that Singapore plays it in a way where by we just look at the macro game i go for four one split that kind of stuff but you guys you can just go all the way we, we we like to we like to dance a little we like to dance a little we like to show that we're better in many different aspects but now zayed going for the split push on the opposite side of the map with cram keeping eyes and right now zayed isn't strong enough to one shot cram oh wait even getting the hold on oh. he's facing it wait, wait wait there's movement from the river are they no. actually going to commit no, no, no. Doesn't seem like they will be able to catch up. Doesn't seem like SRG also understood Todak's movement and they have like this very specific time frame where if you do want to make a miracle or rather make a play, that's the only time frame that they have got. And it feels like both teams have their prize on the line and ego on the sleeves, right? It's all about the bra, all about a show of strength. Here comes the Lord Flicker. what a stressful game this is going. And honestly, SRG and as well as Todok are making these team fights look like origami artwork. They are folding upon each other, trading back front line for back line, and you can see the way that they pivot into each other. The fight is just split up at this point in time, right? AOGs after AOGs, to the point that SRG as well as Todok, they gotta have to work with their own system. An attempted steal on the Lord. Sakai secures it. Pinastry. The Prince does his job well under pressure. They will lose out Zayat and Momo. Okay, the target eh, and Momo. The target 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 but SRG walks away with the lead. That's a two for one. Pwede pala yun, George. SRG on top of having the first Lord of this game. We haven't seen the gold lead actually break into the 2000s. Now, for the first time, SRG finds 1,000 gold that could easily be swung with a single jungle rotation. Absolutely love the previous fight when it comes down to uh, Cram. Literally, zonal advantage. Just ah, wala nang kasamang so farm, no? Sure that the rest ah, of wala, SRG, no? can just focus on the two person that overextended. Nakaran, may kasamang farm, eh. Pag nakakuha nang ano. Deals. That's going to be the Nerd. question, right? With Cram going down, you don't really have a way to take up much space and find it engaged. So Toda, at the end of that, really didn't lose too much, but they did lose the purple buff that Zayat wants. 
Yeah, this is still the very first lore of the game. It's not too strong, but at the same time, you can see that Todok are not breaking formation at all. Nobody is opting to play on the opposite side of the map to deal with the wave. And finally, now that Zayat sees, okay, tier two bot side is done. They've shown four people. It's safe for me to head up top. Honestly, both of these two teams are playing like an absolute unit, right? And of course, they have got a very clear idea as to who is going to be the main priority, at least for the side of Chiku guys, right? He's, he's been uh, on the back lines of Todok pretty nicely throughout all of these engagement only died three times. Yeah. Krem has the immortality, so, I mean, Diet doesn't have the damage for the one shot, quicks and guards, use him up. 90 seconds until the next Lord, and gentlemen, like you guys mentioned, right, we haven't really seen big or macro plays. It has been about all the brawls. Is it time for SRG to start looking into the map? I would like to believe so, but I think the only person who's capable, well, actually two people who are capable of doing it is Innocent as well as Cram. Oh, I did nice. see Innocent actually finish off his Trinity build. Yeah, he's already got it. He's looking for that Winds of Nature, and the same can be said about Todak, right? As much as Chiku guys wants to finish off whatever, I mean, it could be like, oh, hold on. Wow, they actually won I see Innocent. Lovely Part bloody hard Zeno. flicker Sick into ice. the winter crown. Todak needed that target. And finding more though, Dime Sempoy comes in AOG. That one's Buti, not no? the connector of the Sarge, loses two. A oh, boy, a decisive take from the side of Todak. And now that they have the good numbers advantage, oh, at least, Mar. they will be able to take the sila M6 control of the back into their hands. It would be a superior advantage, no? especially sila since nets. the Lord is coming out in 40 seconds. Team Main Bamos. thing is, they can't lose anyone from this point onwards. No, let's not forget that, unfortunately for SRG, their high ground defense isn't the best start. Oh, wait. Uh, do they want to go for a little bit more? Feels like Momo overextending a little bit, but he's not getting punished just yet. I want to quickly talk about the Winter Crown into Immortality for Yanlo, right? We saw the, the, uh, the application of the Winter Crown, you can't cancel the Bloody Hunt, but it's so defensive from the side of Yanlo. I agree. Uh, do they need anti-heal now that I think about it? Uh, I know that Zyme Sepoy already had the Glowing Wand, already pretty much done. Momo probably is going to go for a Dom Ice. It makes sense like if he does stream so. Out in Gaze, so I guess that's why Yanlo is allowed to kind of build whatever he wants. And more importantly, he's got the most valuable ult. Well, the fact that he will be able to just AOG in and just land the glowing one to everyone, right? I think that that is pretty nice, especially if Yooms just decided to, yeah, everyone huddle together, here's some free revitalize, get everyone back into tip-top condition. Well, what a dangerous dance that SRG is attempting. But it seems like they want to finish this tangle. No thoughts of stopping. There's a oh. taunt into oh, a book. Oh. Suppression comes through. Cram loses immortality. AOG splits the back line. Killing spree for Stormy. Humes wants to get away. Revitalize keeps him alive. But here comes Dime Sepoy from the back. Humes loses his own immortality. Yellow forced away. Innocent comes in with some nature. The Chiku guys, they both trade utilities. And now Zayat wants to go for the chase. Humes cannot reach him for the taunt. But Chiku guys compromise. Some guys from the back Chico. takes him out. Innocent against Dime Sepoy. No. Beastly 1v1. Zayat got no go. SRG coming back it with was boss. Oh, may pagka brawl mod din eh. Palaging 5B pa ibang clash eh. Yep, can't beat these auto attacks, especially with max stacks on that art of thievery. He is one tough cookie, and Innocent, he is extremely bold. With that being said, although Todak were able to kind of split up these fights, they need to drag it out a little bit more. They found Stormy, which is already great. Maganda sa lineup ng SRG, crowd control talaga sa Adam and Tango. Guys, his positioning as much as AOE he wants that traditional front crowd to back, control he is not finding it in this game and I think this is Pang where we're seeing Claude really start to shine with that BMI si Franco kasi now, eventually now with the Lord if he's uh, gonna be yan. coming in real soon at least with, uh, like Dito we said before ano. the high ground advantage from Todak is Gatot. definitely there and they do oh. have a very strong ways of Saka clearing kan. up these lanes as for SRG just oh, clear up the top lane uh, so tier 2 and things are definitely gonna be fine alright let's talk to me about this previously I mentioned it before in the Philippines, that 13 minutes, siguro mababa na yung apat na kill. Dalawa na yun. Apat na kill. Don't eat it this time. Is there an explanation for it? Kaya kung gumagawa ka ng highlights, misa wala kang makuhang highlights sa PH. Pero pag nag-highlights naman, ka-highlights, highlights talaga. If Chiku guys can't really do anything much, at least Zyme will be able to do the front-to-back approach with what they want. Oh, that's a hook on Yalo. They wanna go in with the crowd. Most of the crowd control. SRG fighting in the base of Todak, not really the best place to fight in, but still take care of Chiku, guys. And an inhibitor, GG, the hope of Yalo for one a second, and then Fuyo taken down, so guys re-engages, SRG, Lock wants to grab the ball, and they will get it. Yeah. 